Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate Stories. Hey, Mason. Hello. <laughs> All right. Listen, you have my permission to make an offer. What the heck does that mean? You don't have to look at 15 homes to fall in love with one. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that is. <laughs> that is. So it comes down to like, you know, we get this question a lot, no matter what kind of market it is. I've gotten this question like my entire career. It's okay. We walk through, we walk through a home or, you know, we're scheduled to, we look at four homes this afternoon and the buyers say, you know, we really, really like that first home that we saw or the second home that we saw. And then they, then they go, well, is it, is it okay to fall in love with a house like that fast? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> there's your answer. All right, yeah. end of video. Um, it, it is okay. It is okay. Because chances are, two weeks from now, that home's not going to be available anymore. Yeah, yeah. I, I, most you don't have to look at uh, 15 to 20 homes um, just to make sure you saw some before you found, like, before you can mentally lock yourself into one. You know, if you locked yourself into the first home, that's okay too. You, you know, purchasing a home is an interesting thing. Like, and, and I've explained this to buyers many, many times over the years. There's going to be, look, but by the time you're, you're physically out looking at homes, statistically, you've been looking online for nine months. That's just a statistic, some less, some more. So you've probably looked at hundreds of homes on realtor.com or Zillow or whatever, whatever app you like or apps that you like. And you kind of narrow down at the point that we're helping you you probably have a good sense of how much you want to spend, what areas you want to possibly live in, how many bedrooms you're looking for, how many baths you're looking for, all that kind of stuff. So now when we go look this afternoon and those four houses that I used in that example, you're looking at the best of the best of the yeah. homes that suit your needs, right? Because you've kind of looked at, in a way, hundreds of homes. Right. You just you can smell them. Now you can smell them because you're inside the house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You've narrowed it down um, online, basically, to your favorites. Yeah. Years ago, we didn't have this comprehend. you know, the, the online, the consumer websites were not as robust. You didn't have video tours. You didn't have 50 pictures in some houses. You know, you really it was much more difficult you know, to get a sense of where a house was even located. There was no Google street view, all those things and those tools that are out there that most people are using today are extremely helpful in making sure that as a buyer, your time is spent really well, right? You're looking yeah. at the best of the best houses. Then there's, there's the soft thing, which I, I tell clients and listen carefully on this because it's going to sound a little weird. You're going to go Greenblatt's a little off, but I'm telling you, I'm not a little off, at least not for this. This is actually a true thing. When you're looking at a home and let's say it's a couple, right? There's going to be a home that you're going to walk through or literally you're going to be at the front door. You're going to be like just a few feet into the house. And there's going to be something about that house that you kind of look at each other and go, Hmm. And it, it, and it's like an energy. And I know it sounds a little weird, but there's going to be a home that even before you see the rest of the home. Now, remember, you did see some pictures of it, right? You're in a price range that you're comfortable with and all those other things, all those other boxes are checked, but you haven't physically walked through the rest of the home. But once you're in it for a couple of minutes, there's going to be a feeling where you go, this might be the right one. And it could be the first or second house you see. We don't know. But if you get that feeling in one of those first homes that you see, make the offer. Don't lose the house. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is nothing to say. It's just, you know, um, yeah. And what happens if you don't, you have to trust your instinct on this because if you don't, 
you can lose the home. And then what happens is a month later, when we're still looking at homes, you're still asking, well, or you're still comparing going, well, um, the kitchen in that other one that got away was nicer than this one, or that street was nicer than this one, or can you just check and make sure? I know it still says it's under contract. Maybe yep. it's, maybe All there's the something time. wrong. Yeah, right. All maybe All the time. Can, can you find out? Maybe, maybe, maybe there's something going on and we can still buy that house. And that's a needle in a haystack, like literally. Yeah. It's rare, you know, yeah, we'll make that phone call. We'll find out. And usually that transaction's fine. Yeah. You know, that's why it's so important when you're shopping for a home, trust your instinct. You have our permission to make the offer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's what we wanted to share with you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching us. If you're watching us on YouTube, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel. All of our contact information is below. If we can help you here in the greater Cherry Hill area of Southern New Jersey, we cover three or four counties every single day. We'd love to help you buy or sell a home. If you're looking for a real estate agent somewhere else in the country, but you like what we do, we've got some folks and friends all over the country that we can make an introduction to. So we can help you one way or another. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.